Bravo, quarters, general quarters. All hands, man, your battle station. Set zebra throughout the ship. All hands, transit up and forward, starboard side. Down and up on port side. Uh, I'm DC-1 Gregory Herod from Tatchby, California, currently on board USS Princeton, and I am the DSET coordinator. 91, I'm sure when it happened, it was chaotic, but they were well trained, they were drilling constantly, so they planned for, the, for something like this to happen, hoping that it wouldn't, but when it did, they were able to all come together and do their jobs. I think it's always important to remember our previous history, anything good that we did, as well as anything negative that happened. So it gives the ship the realization that at any time, something could happen, something could go off, that makes them realize how essential it is to know their training, what they have to do, because we do have a dangerous job. And at any moment, we could be called into action and rely on that training to save the ship and our shipmates. So looking at the damage report and what they all had to do was just the sheer amount of damage and coordination that it took to get everybody where it needed to be. So they would have had to coordinate, I don't know, upwards of six or seven different casualties all at once to make sure that we did everything possible we could have to stay floating. Oh, it's absolutely important because the, you never know when something could happen. So you want to establish that muscle memory so that the whole saying is, you know, hope for the best, but plan for the worst. So we want to make sure that anything that could possibly ever happen, it's not going to be the first time the crew has seen something of that event. They know it, they know what their steps are, so that way it's easier for them to just go forward and do what they need to do and make it corrected so that we don't sink. <laughs>